Good morning, my name is Mary and I'm at Whiston Hall Retreat Centre. I'm here for the Provincial Hub of the Oblith Lay Association Congress. Let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we look around us, we see many signs of new life. We see many signs that spring is quite definitely here. Today is the Feast of St Augustine. The story of his life is another sign of new life if ever one was needed. In the late 6th century, a man was sent from Rome to England to bring Christianity to the Anglo-Saxons. He would ultimately become the first Archbishop of Canterbury and establish one of medieval England's most important abbeys. Also, he instigated England's conversion to Christianity. That man was St Augustine of Hippo. But before his conversion, St Augustine lived shall we say, a very colourful life. Some might even say immoral sort of life. His mother Monica gave up in despair, but she prayed earnestly that he would change his ways and believe in God. Eventually, her prayers were answered. He became a Christian and changed his ways in a very, very dramatic way. A story I once heard about St Augustine, though I can't guarantee it's true or not. It's a good story. I think it illustrates how loving our God is to all people and for which we and all other people can praise God too. The story goes, one day Augustine was walking along a road and an old friend, we'll call her um, a girlfriend, was trying to gain his attention. He kept shouting, hi Augustine, it's me. Hi, it's me. Augustine ignored her and hurried on his way. But she kept shouting louder and louder. Hi, Augustine! It's me! It's me! It's me! Until eventually, he turned round and said to her, It might be you, but I am not the me you knew any more. Oh! Now, there are two points about this story that I love. Augustine's mum became Saint Monica, who is known for her perseverance in prayer, and is the patroness of wives and mothers. Monica, Monica was praying for Augustine to change his ways for 17 years. She trusted in God. It is still true today that mother's prayers are never lost. God hears them and will answer them. So mums, never give up praying for your children. And as the St Augustine's words show us, when we give our lives over to God, we are called to live in a new way, a different way, a different way to the way of the world, but called to be a new me. In fact, to be a different me. Let's listen to today's psalm for the sixth Friday after Easter. Psalm 47, praising God for the new life all around us. Our response to God in this prayer is, God is King of all the earth. All peoples, clap your hands Cry to joy with shouts of joy, for the Lord, the Most High, we must fear. Great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. God subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from him, given to Jacob out of love. God is King of all the earth. God goes out with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. Let's sing. Or maybe just say our praise for God in our closing prayers. We pray for mothers who are anxious about their children and their family life. Like St Monica, may they never give up believing that God will answer their prayers. We praise and thank God for their strong faith in the goodness of God. Lord, hear us. We pray for those, like St Augustine, who have turned their lives around and live in a new way. 
May God continue to give them the strength and the courage to always pursue and praise God in their new life in Jesus. Lord, hear us. We praise God that after two and a half years of preparation, the Oblate Congress begins. It begins around the world today. May God's Spirit be active and listened to in all the Congress gatherings throughout the world. May it be an occasion for joy for the congregation. Lord, hear us. We pray for the new life we wish for ourselves, for those we love. Lord, hear us. We pray to the mother of us all, who intercedes for us without ceasing, the Queen of Peace, the Queen who prays for all those who suffer bereavement, sadness, worry, anxiety. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Remember today to clap your hands at least once to praise God, or you could sing a song of praise. Whatever you decide to do today, praise God. Have a lovely day. God bless. Thank you.